Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Framework laptop, which has a 13.5-inch display. It's a 3 by 2 aspect ratio. It's a premium notebook with metal body and a nice design. Um, and what really makes it unusual, though, is that it is a modular, upgradable, repairable laptop, which is something you don't see very often. So if you look at the ports here on the side, you notice there's little lines around this USB port and this HDMI port, and the same goes for these ports on the other side. And that's because... With the exception of this headphone jack, all of these are removable and replaceable. Uh, and you can see down here that there's a button that you press and you can actually just pull these right out. It can be a little bit sort of, take a little bit of work to do that, but there pops right out. And you'll notice that what we have here is basically a USB type C connector and an HDMI port on the other end. And it slides right in and slots into place. And so when you order this laptop, you can choose which four ports you want. Say you want all USB ports, you can get all USB ports. Say you want multiple HDMI ports, you can get multiple HDMI. And this is a demo unit that was sent to me for review purposes. It's the new model with Intel's Alder Lake processor. And in addition to the modules that you see here, they actually sent me a bunch of extras. So here's what the packaging looks like. This was the DIY kit that actually came with uh, memory and storage as well. And then we had an Ethernet, USB-C, USB-C, micro SD card reader, HDMI, and USB um, ports here. So there's also, I believe, a display port option. And the Ethernet is actually one of the newest ones. This wasn't available when the framework uh, first generation laptop launched in 2021, and it is now available. Uh, it's got a slightly different design from the others because you'll notice it, um, wouldn't really fit. There's not quite enough room for a full-size HDMI port, so this one actually juts out just a little bit. So say I wanted to replace this USB Type-C port. They can sort of get a little hard to pull there. Um, you would just slot this in instead, and now we've got HDMI next to an Ethernet jack, and we can go ahead and connect to the internet with a wired connection that way. On the other side, you can see I've got a USB Type-A port and a USB Type-C port. And any of these, since they're all connected to the USB uh, 4 ports on the inside, any of them can be used for any function, and they can all be used for charging, for display output, for uh, anything else. You can even get a little SSD. They offer 250 uh, megabyte or one terabyte SSDs that you can use to augment the internal storage. Now, speaking of internal storage, though, that's the other thing that really makes this uh, an unusual laptop. It's very easy to open up and get on the inside, and they even provide you with a tool, and you can buy a spare one for $5 if you want. The tool is a screwdriver on one end. It's a Torx screwdriver, and all the screws, both on the outside and inside, can be opened with this single uh, Torx six-sided or six-pointed star. And the other side is basically a prying tool that you can use to just sort of jimmy your way in. So uh, in order to open up the case, you would just go ahead and open these up and loosen them. You don't have to pull them all the way out. In fact, I'm not even sure you could easily do that, which is great because it makes it hard to lose them. And there's just five screws that you remove and then you pry your way around. And that makes it really easy to, this one's a little sticky, but we'll come back to it. Um, that makes it really easy to upgrade the memory or the storage. Uh, as I mentioned, you can actually buy this completely pre-configured with everything you want, or you can buy a DIY kit and either purchase memory and storage from Framework or bring your own. And then you can supply your own operating system if you'd like to do it that way as well. So it's upgradable uh, in a way that a lot of sort of current laptops are not necessarily. I'm just going to put this back in there because it looks nicer. Um, and... The entire main board is also upgradable and replaceable. So the first generation framework laptop shipped with an 11th generation Intel Core processor. New version is available with a 12th generation Core processor. But if you have the old model, you can basically just buy the new main board that has the new processor on it and upgrade that way. Now going from 11th to 12th might not be something that everybody necessarily needs to do, but it is nice to have that option uh, especially if this company, which is a startup, and so there's no guarantee they'll be here in five years, but if you buy a laptop today, you might want, might not want to upgrade every year, but you might want to upgrade uh, every couple of years or every five years or every 10 years or whatever when the differences are going to be great enough. I'm going to pause this video for a moment here while I just sort of uh, start to pry my way 
inside because it can be a little bit sort of tricky to find where there's a little bit of a gap here, but I'll be back momentarily and I'll show you what the insides look like. Okay, we're back. Uh, it's a little sort of tricky to get this into the sides, but once you do, you can just sort of slide your way around, find any latches that are holding it in place, and you should be able to lift the keyboard away. Now, in order to fully lift it, it's probably gonna detach this cable. It's the only thing that you really have to worry about. And you don't really have to worry about it too much either, because it's really easy to just sort of slot that back into place. Uh, once you've got everything opened up though, what you'll notice is that this is a laptop that is really meant to be easy to repair. Um, not only is the memory and the storage easily user replaceable, you can just sort of pop out the sticks of RAM and uh, replace them with something uh, whoop, it's a little bit loose actually, there we go. So it just snaps into place there. But that same screwdriver that you use to open the case can be used to remove the um, SSD. It's just sort of holding it in place there and fits into the M2.2280 slot. Uh, so it's really easy to do that, but that's not unique. There are other laptops that allow you to upgrade memory and storage. What's unusual here is that everything is user replaceable. So you can replace the battery, again, same size screws. You can replace the wireless card. You can replace the speakers. And most of these items are also available for purchase from Framework. So if you scan these QR codes, you'll find uh, links to order replacement parts and instructions for how to replace them yourself. So that if pretty much anything inside of here breaks down, including the screen, including the camera assembly at the, at the top here, um, you know, you can, you can order the replacements. And as I mentioned, the entire motherboard as well. So uh, this is the version with the 12th generation Intel Core processor. And there are a couple of small differences in the case that it comes with. But if you wanted to, if you had a first generation model and you wanted to basically make it a second generation, you could buy the new case components as well as the new motherboard and just upgrade. And then down the road, if new models are released in the future, you can upgrade to those as well. So it's nice to know that you can basically, instead of having to buy a new laptop every time something breaks in your old one, uh, just replace the parts that you want to replace or upgrade the parts that you want to upgrade. Uh, so again, we've got these QR codes here. If you don't want to scan the QR codes, there's even little URLs that you can just type into your website. There's a little bit of information. So you can see here it says uh, two watt by, uh, or two, two watt speakers. That's what the speaker information is. Uh, there's a little sign here. It says made with love by the framework team and has a list of names of the people who worked on this. And then again, QR codes for uh, the motherboard, for the fan, for um, um, you know, various components here. So um, the wireless card, it's, uh, it's really kind of unique that you find something that is not only modular, allowing you to customize the ports that you want or swap them out on the fly if you decide that you you know, today need four USB ports and tomorrow need an Ethernet jack and an HDMI port, but also you have this opportunity to upgrade the hardware or, um, you know, replace anything that you want on the inside. And again, you can order this as a DIY kit if you don't want one that comes fully configured and you want to just sort of be able to choose your own memory storage and operating system. Now it's getting a little bit dark in here and I'm having a hard time seeing what I'm doing, but I'm going to try and, there we go, put the laptop connector back in place. Snap this back in place, then you just flip it over, tighten those screws, and the laptop should be as good as new. So that's a quick look at this, the modularity, the upgradability, the repairability of the framework laptop, which I think really makes it stand out. Now in terms of overall, is it a good laptop? Um, yeah, it's a pretty good laptop, but check out our full review for more details on that. We look at uh, general performance, and uh, battery life and usage, uh, notes on the keyboard and touchpad and all that good stuff. Uh, overall, it is a pretty good laptop. Uh, battery life could be better. Performance is pretty great. Um, pricing, it is maybe a little bit more expensive than some other laptops, but I think it's one of those situations where if you pay a little bit more upfront, what you get in the long run uh, might be worth it considering, again, that Framework is a startup, but they have delivered on their promise now of not only delivering a modular, repairable laptop with the first generation, but also upgradable um, with the move to second generation processor. So again, we've reassembled everything and it should be able to turn on. Just demonstrate that and then I'll leave you. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing. Check out lilliputing.com for more details about the Framework laptop and other small mobile computers, mini computers, and 
uh, associated topics.